Here's our list for the machine that we're going to do here before I go do my first test ride. Clean carbs and record settings, clean clutch, inspect weight bushings, inspect oil pump, track tension, lube and grease, chain case tension. And we're not going to necessarily do it in these orders. That was just the order I got it out of my head and onto the board. But that's it. Let's dive into it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't get tired of that. I could just sit here and do that all day long. Just boom. 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 Might have to put a little WD over there. I don't like that little ghost wine. Here we go. We got on uh, oval track racing today too, uh, out in Wisconsin as our little background while we work today. Keeping it appropriate, learning a little bit about setup and uh, enjoying our beautiful Saturday. I see this all the time on these old machines. The spare belt, it's a brand new belt. It's still white, it's never been used. It's God knows how old and probably no good anymore. And it's such a bummer because it's a brand new belt. Oh, if you've got an old machine, get your new belt on there <laughs> before it goes bad. Hopefully it'll stretch out nice there. All you triple guys know this, but I found this interesting. I took off this top part of the airbox right here and it's got these little independent boxes, which is gonna make it really easy to get on and off of the carbs. This is either going to be awesome or it's going to really suck, but I think it's going to be awesome. That's always less than ideal when the boot has been pushed in and the carb's probably just been sucking dirty air. Yeah, that's been pushed, pushed back for a while. Well, we'll put in the sun on the sled deck and see if it can't, we get a little bit of bounce back. So that was carburetor number one. Here's the middle carburetor. And over here's your mag side carburetor. Oh, it's the worst. It was definitely sucking some dirty air. Uh-huh. Oh, it's gonna be so hard for y'all to see this. I don't know if I get my camera to focus. Oh, there we go. Oh, from this angle, it doesn't look as good. <laughs> well, the oil pump is in line. You know, the camera obviously can't can't get the right angle on to show you, but she's good in real life. I just find that amazing. I see these oil pumps are loose all the time, especially on the Liberty stuff. But uh, the throttle cable seem to have held the test of time so far. Zero stretchage. Very impressed. This is interesting. This clip up here looks broken. I mean, I've never seen one that looked like that. Well, compared to the other carbs, luckily I've got extra ones of these around here. Well, okay, I looked up the part number and that's the way it's supposed to look. Okay. All right, here we are, we got everything cleaned and I was really surprised. Like, look at this, it's, it's so clean, even in this drain tube. That's a good sign, good sign. Everything's in the bowl, fully clean, blown out with air, carb clean, yada yada. And these was what was in the PTO side carb. We're gonna check that against stock. We're gonna write this down. We're gonna put it back together like it was to test that first. Yes, I did use carb clean without a glove. Yes, it did make my hands look a little gnarly. Here's our Indy Storm R97. We've got the same main jet, same cutaway, the same needle, same clip position, same pilot jet. Our air screw was like 1.2 turns out. Let's we'll decide what we want to do there. Same needle jet. And then over here, we've got our awesome clutching or jetting chart. We're at the six to nine and we're usually at 10 to 40 right now. So there we are. Come this spring, maybe lean it out a smidge. Yeah, check it out. This is that mag side, or yeah, mag side, far side one. Ew. Ew. All right, we're over here doing a little detective work. 
Uh, I just pulled the mag side. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but it says 290 right there on the main jet. 290 is supposed to be the middle. The middle one I pulled it out was a 310, which is supposed to be the mag. Um, so I think somebody was in here and they swapped these two cars by accident. What also makes me think that was in the belly pan, I found, or underneath the clutch, I found this, which goes between the slide and the cap. It really goes up in the cap that goes onto the top of the carburetor and seals it. So somebody was definitely in there. Somebody forgot to put this back, which makes me think if they forgot that, that they could swap these two by accident as well. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe this is just like the super secret jetting, but two sizes richer on the main and then two sizes leaner on the one that's supposed to be the richest. I don't know if I like that. <clears throat> Gotta decide what I wanna do. Look at that. That looks way better. Oh yeah. Check out the elbow grease work. I think it's paying off. I think it's gonna look real nice when it's done. A little cherry on top here. I think that cleaned up real nice. Real nice. It looks brand new. This top piece needs a little bit of love. Getting in here in the cracks will be a little difficult. Some soapy water will do just fine though. Hopefully it'll match. Over in the clutch, taking out weights. I'm glad I'm doing it because some of the weights were like kind of stuck with the pin. When I'd spin the pin, the weight would spin too. Um, when I got the weights out here, you can see all this crap, the dust and that dirt. That was in here in the bushing uh, and it was pushed up against the roller here and just wasn't allowing it to spin. But now we're getting out that dirt and they're spinning really nice and freely on the pin. This is what I'm talking about. It's all like bound up together as one, one unit. You can see this like gunk on the end of the, right there, the threads, that piece just dropped off. Here's more, there you go. And just push the pin through and it's pushing out this dirt. So I'll push it through a bunch more times. Check this out, it's still dirty too. So see how I can, it will like, I can flip it, you know? All right, watch what happens when I clean it. Cleaned, and look at that, I can spin the whole thing in my hand and it will not go with it now. That's what we want. We are making our way through today's list. Carbs cleaned, recorded the settings. Clutch clean, inspected weight bushing, inspected oil pump, track tension, loop grease and chain case. Mm, okay. Oh yeah, that's way better. This thing was like doof, doof, doof before. That's a nice tight chain. And track tension, I'll show you why. Just mark that. <clears throat> because it's freaking tight. Okay, we've been putting in some serious time here. And you guys are all up to date on what we've done. Let's put back on these spark plug caps. Boots. And uh, give her a few pulls on the old pull cord. See if we can't get it to fire under its own pa. Okay, we've done all the work too we were gonna do. <clears throat> Let's give it some pulls. decided to add wash belt to the list here last second so you guys know how to do that i won't bore you <laughs> <laughs>